Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Atsi Nuke Nuke. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on Friday presented a report of the 2019 general elections. INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu made the presentation while briefing journalists at the Commission's headquarters in Abuja, the nation's capital. He noted that the document contained two reports, the report of the stakeholders' retreat of the 2019 general elections and the report of the election itself by the Commission. The report also included preparations, conducts, post-election events, and contained 180 recommendations. Yakubu also added that some of the recommendations that required administrative actions by the Commission were already being implemented. And in Inugu, Speaker of Inugu State House of Assembly, Edward Ubosi, has asked the federal government to urgently intervene in finding the cause of the strange illness which has taken no less than 50 lives in Inugu State. Ubosi said, although the state government had dispatched an emergency response, the federal government should urgently intervene and find a cure to the strange and yet to be identified sickness. The strange illness has ravaged Inugu AZK community in Igbu AZ, North local government area of the state, and has reportedly claimed about 50 lives within a few weeks. The Lagos State Police Command has warned residents against any form of planned protest, procession or gathering under any guise in the state, Olumu Iwa Adejobi, the state house, the state, the Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer, gave the warning on Thursday in a statement on behalf of the police authorities in Lagos. He stated that the police would resist any protest as the government and the people of Lagos still nurture the wounds of the recent violence that wrecked havoc across the state following the NSAS protest. Adeja B also revealed that measures have been put in place to maintain law and order as well as public safety across the length and breadth of the state. The, ministers, the Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Olami Lekon Adigbite, has revealed the federal government plans to establish solid minerals processing hubs in six geopolitical zones of the country. While speaking at the 2020 Nigeria Mining Week, Adebite stated that the herbs would be sited close to the locations of artisanal miners and the government had been able to create 400 groups of artisanal miners and was making funding opportunities available to them. He also stated that the ministry would consult with artisanal miners groups to understand their needs and reach a consensus on the type of processing herbs they require. He noted that the sm small-scale mining in Nigeria constituted between 85% and 90% of the mining activities in the country. And now to COVID-19 cases. Nigeria has recorded fresh 180 COVID-19 cases, taking the total number of infections in the nation to 63 1,508. This according to the latest statistics provided by the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, on Thursday night. The new infections were reported from 14 states with Lagos recording 87 cases, Oyo State 51 cases, and the FCT 12 cases. Of, of the over 63 cases, of the over 63,000 cases, 59,748 have been discharged across the country and the federal capital territory with a total of 1,155 deaths. A 90-year-old Archbishop Christian Tumi has been abducted with a nearly a dozen or other people in the Western Cameroon region gripped by conflict between Anglophone separatists and the security forces. The Archbishop, who had frequently sought to medi mediate in the ongoing crisis in the country, was kidnapped on Thursday near Kumbo in the northern west region, along with his driver and about 10 other people. Anglophone militants have repeatedly carried out kidnappings, often for ransom and conflict, which has gone for on for over three years. And now to sports. Argentine soccer legend Diego Maradona is to remain in the hospital for several more days to undergo treatment following surgery to remove a blood clot on the brain, his doctor revealed on Thursday. Therapists treating Maradona have said the football legend is currently undergoing withdrawal symptoms due to a long history of drug and alcohol addiction and his treatment will last a few days. And that's all for now on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching.